May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Asian Americans are responsible for many of the items we take for granted today. Number one, Asian food. Asian cuisine was first introduced in the United States in the mid 1800s when Chinese immigrants first began settling in California. Asian influences and spices can be found today in many dishes. Number two, YouTube. Stephen Chen, an American internet entrepreneur, is the first co founder of YouTube. YouTube changed the way we get and share information. Number three, Universal Serial Bus. The Universal Serial Bus is better known as a USB. It was created by AJ Bot. He never made a dime off of his invention. He said, I don't do things for money, but rather to help society. Number four, Keanu Reeves. Who doesn't love Keanu? His name means cool breeze over the mountains in Hawaiian. Along with over a hundred acting credits, he is also considered one of the kindest people in Hollywood. He is generous with his good fortunes, donating millions to charity, giving impressive gifts to his production crews, and doing random acts of kindness wherever he goes. We all need to be a little bit more like Keanu. Number five, railroads. Our extensive railroad system was built by Chinese immigrant labor in the 1800s. The United States hasn't always treated Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders fairly. In 1882, the U.S. enacted the Chinese Exclusion Act, which excluded immigration from China. This lasted in some form for 60 years, until 1942. In 1941, the U.S. government rounded up all people of Japanese descent, including American citizens. They were taken from their homes and relocated them into internment camps for three years during World War II. Most recently, during the COVID pandemic, Asian hate crimes have risen over 300%. Despite all these indignities, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have become strong fibers in the American tapestry. History is complicated. As we mature, so should our understanding of our history. The good, the bad, and the ugly. What's up, FHS? I'm Shion. And I'm Ava. In this week's episode, we'll see what's popping in FHS and watch Doreen and I try the new handcuff challenge. Handcuff challenge? Is that even a thing? It will be. We will also meet a few Saber dogs and our annual Saber Roar bloopers. Have you ever wondered what it is like to work behind the scenes at the Milwaukee Milkman baseball game? Franklin alumni Paul Simak talked to the video production classes about the opportunities. Paul Simak, an FHS 2017 graduate and Milwaukee radio and TV personality Van McNeil, visited with video production classes. Paul is a game director and assistant general manager of the Milwaukee Milkman and Milwaukee Wave. They spoke to students about their employment opportunities on the video and PR crews for the Milwaukee Milkman. Uh, whether it's like writing a quick two sentences about cool play, uh, an injury or something fun that happened on the field. Paul credits his experience at the Saber Road with giving him a start in media production. If you are interested in taking a swing into the video industry, make sure to apply on the Milwaukee Milkman website under Team and Employment. They are looking to hire for many different positions in the organization. To get more information, make sure to look at the employment section of the Milwaukee Milkman website. The Saber Road started a new challenge. We wonder what it would be like to be handcuffed to your friend and try to do your daily activities. It was a challenge. <laughs> hey guys, we're going to get food. Okay, bring bring your hand. <laughs> we'll be right back. But we're still struggling to eat. I'm living my life. It's okay. good. Ah, I just ate my finger. Stop looking at me while I'm eating. I don't like having too much chicken flavor. When it's flat, talk to both hands. Where's the other hand? Oh. <laughs> oh, get up! Oh my god! 
This is <gasps> so bad. You spilled it all over? Like what? Like Dude, my sis! My car! Bad. So I was trying to clean something. <laughs> but we'll see you guys at home. Ow! Oh, Move your no. arm. Like why oh. are you just standing? We didn't really drive because that would be very unsafe. But even eating was a challenge, and my car still smells like barbecue sauce. We try a lot of different things at the Saber Roar. Game shows, comedy sketches, and we recently tried to produce a segment where we match dogs to their owners. It didn't quite work out, but we didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you some cute Saber dogs. Match, hold up. Hey, hey, hey. Is this my dog, do you look like? Yeah. Yeah, y'all like twins. Identical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if she likes that. Liza! <laughs> Is my lip busted? <laughs> We're always so grateful to the students and teachers who help us out with our crazy ideas. As you know, the Saber Roar isn't perfect, despite what it might look like. Let's take a look at some of our funniest moments behind the scenes from this year. What's up, FHS? I'm Bella. I well can't. <laughs> <laughs> He's already laughing. Guys, the word is just funny. I don't know why. Just why don't, don't look at the word. Close your Ooh. eyes when you say it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Just a reminder, this Friday is the deadline for March Madness. <laughs> I don't know. You were doing... Welcome back to the same... I messed it up already. Michael. <laughs> this March Madness weekend. Oh, that, that That's was... all the time we have for today. Be sure to subscribe. Do a little hair flip too. Congratulations to our FHS gymnastics. Congratulations to our FU. Congratulations to our FHS gymnasts. I can't even say gymnasts. Your gold block will be have your gold block will have a chance to offered. Let me go get the script. Hi, right, hold on. Guys. Dude, why are the sticky notes? <laughs> what is this? I need to go to the bathroom. You might be his best. Watch out, especially that Ben. <laughs> that Ben kid. It's on site. Yeah, I'm back. And when I see Ben, it's on site. Yeah, I'm back. And when I see Ben, it's on site. I'm kidding, I don't know what to show them, I'm sorry. And but I'm really not. <laughs> what, what, like, what is, what is the, what's the context here? Okay, here we go. Are we recording? Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why this is so difficult. The. I. 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 I don't care. I. Where? I. <laughs> What's happening with the computer?
turning off and on. Either trying to reset the power. What the dog doing? Don't you dare. Whee! Okay, okay, what come now? on. We need to get out of here. Somebody call an ambulance. Somebody call an ambulance. Come on, guys. Uh, oh, uh, 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 no, 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 no. Ben, no, Ben. Okay. This is Turkey Hunter oh, Jab. Because it's kind of apparent. Because we need to go hunt passes, some turkeys. So, like, you'll know. You'll see them. Yep. Okay. They don't stand a chance against us turkey hunters. No, they do not. Let's go. I can like stop recording. I can like shove my phone. Watch. <laughs> In here. Oh, look at that. Doreen, have you <laughs> Doreen, have you ever heard of Kim Kardashian? <laughs> we work hard, but we also have fun here at the Saber Roar. If you want a chance to work on the Saber Roar, please talk to Mr. Clark. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to watch our final show next week. It is a special show dedicated to the graduating class of 2022. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at the Saber Roar to stay up to date with all things Saber Roar. We'll see you next week, Sabers.